Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So, I recently did a video where I straightened my hair with the, the Plavogue Hair Brush Straightener. My hair came out beautiful, I loved it, and if you watch my channel then you know that I also am in love with my Revlon um, all-in-one brush dryer. Love this thing. This, this is my second one because my daughter uses it every single day. Um, so she uses it so much that I it was getting worn out so I bought another one just to have. So she has one and I'll have one. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and I don't want to say so much that one is better than the other because I think that in my eyes from what I've from using both of them honestly I just think they're equally just as good as the other. I, I really do. Um, I've tried a couple of brushes I don't even know the names. I don't remember the name of the brand that I used. This was a while ago. It was a brush, and it wasn't that great at all. These so far, these these like the like the brush, the dryer at the same time, shaped like this, just works great for my hair. I'm gonna do this side by side. I already plugged the Revlon in, so we'll start with that side. But let me get my hair prepped. I'm gonna use the same stuff that I used last time, which is Frisbee Gone by Giovanni. So let's get that ready, and we're gonna have to go middle part. Middle part and straight. That's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, split in the back in half too. This is side by side. I usually like to do the back in one strip, so we'll see how that comes out. I feel like I'm on uh, the sound of music. That's a yodel. I'm gonna start with the section just to compare quickly both dryers. So we got. The shape really, everything about it I would say is very similar. The size from height to um, the size from the top to the bottom is the same. They both have the swivel cord, which is great. They both have the dust collector. I don't know what you really call that, but um, collects all that dust. And then the shape, honestly, it's really, it's great. Either one, it feels great in the hand. The Pavlog has the controls on the front, whereas Revlon is on the bottom. It's like you turn the bottom. They both have the spot on the top that you can use for your finger when it's too hot and you need to just get that extra control, and that's it. And you can't really see it, but Pavlog also has the little, see how this has little blue dots, the rubber balls on the end? This has it, it's just the same color. Okay, so let's get drying. Okay, so Revlon's side is done. It looks beautiful. And what I did do that I forgot to tell you is I started a stopwatch. I wanna see how long approximately it takes each one to do. They're just such quick dryers. That's what I think blows my mind the most. Uh, it used to take me so long to dry my hair 
with the brush and a separate dryer like so long um, so this took seven minutes 35 seconds but give or take whatever and I don't want it to be a race because I'm not rushing I'm taking my time the way I normally and I'm gonna do the same on the other side and if one is a minute or two it doesn't mean anything because I can't possibly do the exact same thing but I'm gonna try my best and let's get going with the other side guys before I continue I have to tell you I cannot believe this I forgot to put product in my hair but it looks good it's a little on the drier side though so I'm kind of annoyed with that so I have to do the same on the other side I can't put product in so bad at myself but it's okay because I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this and I'm not gonna put any product in but I'm actually surprised I mean it doesn't look bad at all but it would look so much smoother and nicer if I put a product in darn it going in Wow, I just stopped it at 727. Very similar in drying time, that's for sure. Um, it's getting dark out, sorry guys. I think rain is coming. So can't wait to have my office back so I can have my lights again in case of cloudy days, but the window did help, I opened it up. Okay, more about the hair. So, before it gets, before it gets too dark, let's finish this comparison. What do you guys think? I think they both did the exact same job. I really do. I'm not a fan right now of my hair straight. In the middle, I'd rather do it aside, but um, I'd rather do like a side part like this maybe, but you know, this, this was a comparison, so they're both so similar, guys. I can't believe I forgot to put the product in. I feel like I have to refilm this, but I don't know. I don't think I have to because honestly, as long as they both were done equally the same, I don't think it matters, right? This is the Revlon One Step and I'm able to get my curls flips in that you can see here with that. But I could do the same on here. This is the Pavlog. I can get those flips in here too. So I look like I'm wearing a wig though. But it's the side. I'm it's like voluminous, but I would normally do this, and I might actually fix that. Let me fix it right now. I this one's plugged in. That's why I'm grabbing this one. Okay, feel a little better with the side, but yeah. So either way, these are great brushes, and I have thick, curly. I feel like I'm fighting against the light here, guys. So, um, yeah, both are just as good. I feel like I feel like I need to film this again though, using a product. So you might see a second half on here. I don't know of a gun <laughs> guys either way both of these are amazing both of these are really amazing products I will give you a discount code for this one don't have a discount code for this one but I'll leave the discount code below for the pavlog and I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it until next time guys I will see you in the next video bye